Well, healthy soil is not dirt. It actually lives, it breathes. Soil is important because we get our sustenance from it. You know, we, we depend on it. Every human depends on the soil. We cannot live without it. So healthy soil is life. We run cattle, but biodiversity is very important. So, so the healthier the soil, the healthier the plants, the healthier the wildlife, and the better, you know, just the better we all function. Where I live and work, we have an abundance of elk and deer and antelope, so it's, as well as running our cattle, we have 200 head herds of elk and deer, so it's pretty important to me that we have good ecosystem and plenty of food and water for them. Soil health is absolutely connected to uh, profit because when you have healthy soil, it produces more forage, you can run more cattle, and you uh, increase your revenue. We are in an arid area. It's gonna take a little bit longer than someone in Missouri, but we can do it. There are people who've already done it. We don't have to reinvent it, just do what they do. Well, we run uh, uh, one herd of cattle, and uh, based on the principles of how the um, original ungulates, the original herds grazed, the whole idea is one herd of cattle grazing for short periods of time with long periods of rest. To start with, we were doing a 50% rest during the growing season of, of the grassland. We saw a tremendous improvement. We are now progressing towards a 90% resting period during the growing season and uh, seeing a, a lot of diversity in their plant life uh, that we're doing on the ranch. Through the adaptive grazing system, we, we move cattle frequently. We uh, observe, we uh, anticipate in advance. When I inherited part of my family ranch, I had four large pastures in 14,000 acres and four sources of water. And today we have 25 uh, pastures. We have uh, water uh, in every pasture. So we have rotational grazing on our farm and we have found that um, the land itself is covering itself as we let it rest and pulse the animals through it. The land has to be healthy in order to absorb whatever water we get in New Mexico. We're a very arid state, so uh, when rainfall occurs, it's critically important that it go into the ground. We can hold the water that we couldn't hold before. Within three or four years, even if you get some droughty situations in there, if you manage, don't take too much, rest your, rest your plants, your soil will respond. We have seen a tremendous decrease in bare ground, uh, a tremendous increase in forage production, more diversity of grass species. And when we get rain, the rain goes in the ground. There's just a, a tremendous, tremendous difference. It looks like a different place. When we first started that, we had lots of bare ground areas, a lot of uh, just sand and gravel. And now it, we're, it's, we're seeing it covered with, with plant life. We see bare ground has decreased uh, tremendously. Um, I see my dirt tanks have dried up. Um, we no longer get the runoff. We're getting infiltration of water into the soil. And uh, this is reflected in the static water levels of our wells, which they're increasing. A lot of people just don't know about, you know, what's going on below the soil, below the soil surface. And what a healthy soil would mean as far as, uh, you know, water retention and uh, uh, increased productivity and so um, it's, it's education. My hope for the future is that other generations will be able to survive and thrive off of the soil that, well, these generations can make better. I'm a big hunter and fisherman, outdoorsman, as well as a ranch hand, so I'd like to see our animals be taken care of for the future. You know, I'm fairly young myself, but I'd like to see future generations get to enjoy it like I have. I can help with it. Anyone at any age can help.